What's up, gems? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another ow. Duncanator Duncan Music. So, y'all, check it. We're back, and... I started a series and I don't know how I got here and I love it. So by the title, by the backdrop, by the photos, the thumbnail, whatever, you can already see what's going on. We are braiding my hair today and we are changing the color to blue. Now, if you were here for the last series on social media, then you have seen that I did You have seen that um, I did orange and yellow. And originally the color was supposed to be yellow. And I found this like ombre orange on camera. You can't see the orange. That's cute. Um, and I loved it. You guys seem to love it too. So why not keep doing it? So we're going to go ahead and be braiding my hair today. We're going to be using a couple of products. As you guys know, I don't use store-bought products in my hair like that or like moisturizers and stuff like that. I don't use. I mix my own. But today we will be using um, some store-bought products. I'm on the last two uh, store-bought products that is not like um, protein treatments or shampoo and conditioner. So, um, of course, what we're going to be using today is my oil. Y'all know I mix this myself. I do not have my videos up anymore because people are inquiring about this here, right here. Because look at my hair. And yeah, so business moves. Um, we are also going to be using this African Pride, African Pride Moisture Miracle Shea Butter and Flaxseed Oil Moisturizer and Defining Cream. Now, y'all, first of all, it looked nasty, but I promise it's just instant um, ash in here, but you can't even see it, but there's nothing left. Like, all I got is that corner. So, this is one product. And then I am going to be using the last of my main and choice tropical moringa pearl braid out glaze. Now I only have a little bit of this left, and I have like some in the top or whatever. But I don't like this. Like when I say I don't like it, I do not like it. I don't like the way that it flakes. Like it gives a bomb, bomb, bomb twist out braid out definition. But the only downside is that it flakes like crazy. Like when I say it flake, it flakes. It makes you look like you have dandruff and I don't like that. So that's one of the main reasons why I do not like that. But I use it because it clumps my hair together. And we just gonna use it because I'm trying to get rid of it. These are the last products. Um, and then, um, I bought this because my edges, they don't collect together like I need them. And what the fuck is this in my hair? What the hell? Potato skin. Y'all cook breakfast. Wow. Um, so this, uh, y'all know I can't use edge control and stuff like that. But for some reason, like when I'm doing braids, um, this will hold my hair in for like a little bit. And this is the 24 hour edge tamer by Eben. Um, I had bought it because I needed to redo my front when I did the orange and I mean, it did what I needed to do, but it didn't hold my hair like I needed it to. So I will be using, um, this and Oh, the hair that we will be using. So, I did not measure my hair correctly. I didn't get correct inches, so I don't know what we're about to do. But, I have several different things here. I have several different colors and inches. So, we're about to figure this out. I will be using this 
Janet Collection D Blue. I will be using this expression um, and it's from the African Collection in the color 60. This is, uh, it said that it was 82 inches long. We're going to be cutting it in, in half, making it 40 something inches long. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to do it. Um, and then I got this 26 inch blue, but this blue has, um, the silver at the bottom. And then I have this 48 inch in, um, black and dark blue. And then I have a 26 inch and black. So we will be putting the 26 inch at the top. And then I got another D blue, which this does not tell me how long it is. So I'm pretty sure I'll be adding this at the top. First things I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is cut this silver down because it's way too long. I do apologize for the noise, but yeah, way too long. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this little baby here. Wait, let me take this rubber band off because I need to put this other hair up. Alright, so, go ahead and untangle this because I do not want anything this long. How did I not look at the inches, fam? So, half of 80, was this 82 inches? 84 inches 42 so if I do 42 oh yeah that'll be alright we can deal with that so I got a lamp right here I'm gonna just put all my hair on Since this is 48, we're going to put this blue and black at the back and then do the shorter at the top of it. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all, I may not even need all this hair. Alright, y'all. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and part the back of my hair
right guys i am back we're going to go ahead and start on the front i pretty much got all this done and i'm tired okay babe gets off in an hour so um i definitely want to spend some time with her before i have to go to bed because i have to work in the morning um so we're gonna go ahead and close this up so that i can hide my hair tomorrow and then i'll just finish tomorrow but yeah so um y'all let's talk okay so you guys know that i have been on a um weight loss journey I am on, excuse me, I apologize. I am on a weight loss journey. So you guys know that I was doing Weight Watchers. And I started Weight Watchers in August. And I went through August and September and I lost a total of four pounds. Um, so I was down... Uh, I missed my goal by like, I think nine, nine pounds. And then in October, I just stopped tracking. Like I didn't stop, you know, eating healthy. I didn't just binge. I didn't get out of control. I just stopped tracking and stopped weighing myself. Like that's just, you know what it came down to but honestly um i owe my um my weight loss not only to my hard work and dedication and being consistent with eating but or being consistent with being healthy and eating healthy um but i will say that i feel like um a big part of my weight loss journey comes from an eating disorder um, I have come to the conclusion that I, Sherry Ann, um, I have an eating disorder. Like, there's no way around it. I know I have an eating disorder. Like, I can't eat a lot. Like, it just doesn't work for me like that. Like, I can't. I can't. I can take three, four bites. I'm full. Oh, don't let me drink anything. It's over with. My stomach cannot handle heavy food anymore. Um, if I eat too much, I automatically throw up. And I don't make myself throw up. I don't, you know, I don't try to do all that other stuff. Like, it just, my body is not handling food. And I don't know what it is. I just, I probably need to go see a doctor, but... Honestly, it just, it doesn't bother me. Like, I don't want to be fat. I just, I'd rather deal with the eating disorder. I'd rather not be able to eat than go to the doctor and then give me something to where I have to eat and gain weight. And I don't want to gain weight. Like, I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be overweight. Like, I've been... I won't say overweight, but I've just been a certain size my whole life and just seeing people um, around me and um, what they can and can't do, I don't want that for myself. So, um, yeah. If you watch the um, vlog where we went to uh, Blue Coast, y'all, I didn't eat none of that food it's been what two days now and i still have not finished that food and i just don't know you know what's going on but that's you know pretty much that so anyway so i had to stop weight watchers that was the whole point of this conversation um i so, basically, Weight Watchers um, have partnered with a company that is known to be racist. 
And also they have brand ambassadors who have been known to make racist comments. So um, it was a very big thing because the company that they paired partnered with have been called out and have problematic issues with being um racist so you know there's pretty much that like just the end of Weight Watchers and I'm kind of sad because I've never felt healthier or happier or just like myself until I got on Weight Watchers and it sucks because I was really excited about getting back on track with my Weight Watchers and then this happens so things happen it's life but it sucks that that's what it comes to but I am going to try to consider consistently eat healthy and honestly I don't know I just I feel like I get to a point and I do good then I don't do good and I'm trying to be good I'm trying to be consistent and just dieting can be very hard Good morning. So I have been working on my hair for two days now. Um, I have not had a break between working, being, a, just listen, whatever. Um, so it is currently about to be six o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been up off and on all night. Yay. Love that for me. I'm beyond tired. I am beyond irritated. I just want to sleep today, but whatever. So I decided to come get a few braids done before I have to go to work. But after I'm done with this row, I'm about to go to sleep or at least try to because I legit have been up off and on. Like off and on editing and sleeping and just oh, I'm tired so that's where we are today <clears throat> oh, y'all this process just takes forever probably have to do all blue on this row because there's no blue at least not on this side so I got a bunch of blue here I'm gonna have to start putting some white
Hey gems, I'm back. So it has been four days later and I am on my last few braids. So I'm gonna show y'all how I put this one in. This is not how I put that in. struggling till I get that mug in there. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, if it's meant to be. I don't mean to be so uptight, but my heart's been broke a couple times by a couple guys that didn't treat me right. I ain't gonna lie, ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm tired of the fake love, show me what you made of, boy, made me believe. 
But I'm not doing it tonight. And out of all the hair that I opened up when I first started, this is all I got left. I probably could have used all the hair. I know I made some braids too big, but... Bye, guys.